Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelley and today I'm going to tell you about all the books I read in May. So I've kind of accidentally divided them up by physical and audiobook. So, you know, let's just go with the audiobooks first because they are right in front of me. So, um, in April I listened to most of the uh, selection series, but I had one book left, which was The Crown by Kira Cass. So that concluded <laughs> that series, basically. Um, not much to say about it. I did not enjoy the audiobook uh, as much as I did while reading it physically. Um, yeah, I, I have a whole rant video coming up about that, so stay tuned. <laughs> So if you don't know what the selection series is, it's basically The Bachelor meets dystopian world of some sort. Um, yeah. And then for a full series of audiobook I listened to it was the the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. So we have The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe, Life, the Universe and Everything, So Long and Thanks for All the Fish, and Mostly Harmless. And as with the selection series, I have a video coming up about this full audiobook listening as well. <laughs> and then we have two more which were also all my audiobooks are rereads, what am I talking about? But these are standalones. So we have We Were on the Break by Lindsay Kelk. And I'm pretty sure this was the first book by Lindsay Kelk I read. And it's very much We Were on a Break mood. So basically we start up with Liv and Adam on holiday. Where were they on holiday? I don't remember. They were on holiday and Liv has found out from her best friend that Adam is about to propose to her and see she's just like sort of anxiously awaiting this proposal because yeah sometimes that is all you can think about apparently but things happen and they kind of end up breaking it off instead after they come back from holiday, but yeah. Um, and it's basically going back and forth between Liv and Adam's point of view, and um, we see <laughs> basically everything goes wrong. It's a very funny book, and you really should read it if you like funny contemporary romance books. And the uh, last audiobook I listened to was The Sun in Her Eyes by Paige Toon. Now, this is a tearjerker. So in this one we follow Amber who currently lives in London but has gone back to Australia for some reason. Because her father uh, had a stroke or heart attack, one of them. And she goes back to like check how he is and stuff, as you might do. While also like taking care of her dad, she uh, sort of reconnects with her teenage crush, as it were, and uh, things ensue. So uh, will she like leave her husband for this technically old friend, but new love interest? Or will she go back to her husband? I will tell you this, this book will make you cry. Um, I thoroughly enjoy the story, but it will make you cry. Page Tune has a way of making you cry, so if you read this one, expect tears to come. Unless you're like a stone cold hearted bitch, then maybe not. And. Over to the physical books. So, as part of our Chaos Court book club, we had a book of the month, and it was The Rage of a Dragon by Evan Winter. Um, I didn't really enjoy this book. I don't really get the point of this book, because mostly it's just a revenge plot where it's either fighting or war. 
sorry, I got a hiccup in the middle of that. Basically, it's a revenge plot where it's either fighting or war and a very, very awkward sex scene out of nowhere. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't get the point. However, I have heard that the magic system that's in this series, because uh, it's a series, uh, actually picks up a bit more in the second book, so... I am curious to pick that one up, but I also hear the third one isn't out yet, so we got another one of those kinds of series. Yeah. So I did read like more of Paige Toon and Lindsay Kell's book, books, but this one's, these ones were for the first time and also physically. So I read Someone I Used to Know by Paige Toon. We follow Leah. Leah? Leah. Uh, and she's grown up with her parents taking in foster kids, so she always had loads of foster siblings around. There was this one guy that she kind of had some feelings for, but they didn't really end up going anywhere. Instead, she married another guy who also happens to be friends with them and uh, they had a kid and all that and and uh, speed up until the future her dad passes away and also her husband is kind of out of the picture for the moment and um, spoiler he's kind of in jail you'll have to read it to find out why and um, so Leah moves back in with her mum to help out on the farm because they have a farm <laughs> They have a farm where they took in foster kids at, because why not? Um, there's a whole backstory and I'm not making much sense while talking about this book, but it's a good book, you should pick it up. Um, anyway, it's a very good book. I really, really enjoyed it. This was a book where I didn't cry as much as I did. I did, I get, I did get some couple of tears because page tune brings out the tears in you well she does in me and <laughs> uh, but this was one of the happy endings as it were because uh, she kind of does happy endings happy endings but with a sad twist but this one is a happy ending please pick it up it's very good also very pretty book <laughs> so after that ramble I also read In Case You Missed It by uh, Lindsay Girl. Basically we follow Ross. Ross has been away in the States for the last three years or so and now she's come back and um, yeah she ends up moving back in with her parents only she doesn't actually live in the house because her father has built a shed <laughs> in the back garden so they can have their privacy and she can have her privacy and basically he's made the shed look like her old bedroom <laughs> it's it's kind of weird and it's kind of tragic but it's also kind of funny and among other things Ross ends up texting everyone she's ever had a number to because Apparently that can happen. It's a very funny book. It's also kind of a enemy, Enemies to love Kind of a deal I guess So you might enjoy it if you enjoy that kind of thing um, Yeah, but Lindsay Kalk always makes me laugh a lot and I'm sure she will too if you pick this one up Why am I like selling books right now? I don't know so, um, I started my rereads of the Akata books, but I only actually read the first one uh, back in April. But uh, I have now read also A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruined, and A Court of Frost and Starlight. I'm just going to hold them up like this because they are bright as hell. I'm not sure I very much enjoy these covers because not so much the pattern of it, but the brightness of them they are so bright it's i don't know what um what 
to say. I guess I kind of enjoyed these more the second time around than I did the first time around. I don't think that has anything to do with the covers because I'm not really enjoying these covers, but <laughs> there you go. Um, but I am now on track to read A Court of Silver Flames. That's what it's called, right? I don't know. I think it's orange, so that's great. <laughs> But it matches these ones. It does not match my old ones. I'm still kind of miffed about that. But yeah. And for the last book I read in May. Well technically it wasn't the last book. But the last book I have to say anything about. So. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Do we ever? Um, I read With This Kiss by Carrie Hope Fletcher and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still just in love with the end papers and the sprayed edges. Uh, it basically, yeah. So in this one we follow Lorelei and Lorelei kind of has this Let's call it curse, because I would definitely feel like it was a curse if I had this. Basically, whenever she kisses someone, like, full on, um, she sees how they're gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. So, basically, she's sworn off people. <laughs> she's sworn off men, because she's not gay. Uh, she's sworn off people... So she's never gonna have another kiss ever again, but in walks a dude and of course she starts having feelings for him. Oof, rough life, rough life. It was actually a very cute story. She goes on on this like testing because she doesn't actually know what the deal is with this kissing and seeing the death kind of a thing is. Um, so she kind of thinks that, so she goes on this like testing spree as in does she cause the death of these people when she kisses them or not and she sort of like tests her theory or whatnot. and so basically she and her friend go out clubbing and she makes up with a bunch of people. I mean if I were this Grayson dude that she now fancies and I found out about that I would be like what the fuck <laughs> but I mean <laughs> sure um it it was a bit of a weird scene that I guess but it was a very cute book um definitely go check it out if you are into these magical realism kind of things so <laughs> Basically, it feels like I've been trying to sell books for this entire video, because um, why not? I mean, I don't get anything out of it really, except for the enjoyment of other people reading books I have enjoyed. Um, but yeah, so hope your reading month was good. Mine was, I'd say it was pretty decent. Um, yeah. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all next time. Until then, please take care and bye-bye.